Now you are listening to One Good Piece of Me. It's the new single off the platinum selling rock band's Big Rack's fifth studio album. It's called Gray Street. Before they take the stage this weekend at the Phoenix tonight and tomorrow, actually, we've got Ian and Dave joining us now to chat. Good morning, guys. I know you've had a grueling schedule. Which yeah. sort of doesn't like jive with the morning show schedule. So thank you for being here this oh, morning. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for having us. Hey, congrats on this. It already went to the top of the charts. Mm -hmm. That's got to feel amazing. Yeah. Well, it's, sometimes you, you release a record and then the first day or maybe the first couple days it'll be around number one, and that's a great feeling. Yeah. But I, and I don't really know how this stuff works, but apparently if you hover around number one for a week, then you get like, oh, you deb debuted at number one. So that, that's the first time we've had that. Which is a good thing when you're collaborating and getting creative and then you see, wow, everyone's digging it. It's not just you guys yeah. in your head and in your music bubble. And it's really organic, the process behind the album this time mm. around. Let's talk about some of the cool sounds you used and infused. There's, at one point, is it true it's your daughter's heartbeat? Was yeah. used as like a drum kick? Yeah, yeah. We used, uh, it's uh, Garth Richardson who produced the record. He's, he's just a, he's got a, a, a deep trick bag and, and, and a lot of experience and it's just sort of no idea is 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 too weird but he he just said you know what we should do is we should use uh Sophia's heartbeat as a kick drum on this song and i was like um i don't know how to do that but yeah, but yeah so we just we, we went about trying to figure out we had a stethoscope is that the one with the yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah no. uh, that didn't work uh and <laughs> then tried. yeah we just ended up we just ended up finding the right kind of microphone and, and mic in her heartbeat and using it what did she think when she heard it all back the final? um I think she digs it. Yeah. I don't know. She's so 13, cool. so she might like. It, she might be getting to the age where it's just not cool it's to not like cool. your dad's tune. She'll you know? appreciate it one day. Trust me. And um, then there was another thing using wine glasses in a turkey yeah. baster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, the turkey baster was to to tune the oh. the the wine glass. So I had to just sort of sit there and up. Oh, you're a little bit sharp, and then I think you add water to make the pitch go down. Um, and then we, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty cool noise. And then a guitar on a mountainside. Which mountainside was it, and who got to do it? Was that you, Ian? Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't as romantic as it sounds. Okay. It wasn't like sounds slap, slash, just <laughs> doing that whole thing. No. Um, but no, Ed Garth's studio is um, on the Sunshine Coast, and it's essentially on top of a mountain. Mm. And and he had this thing that he wanted to record outside, so we'd just take speaker cabinets and. and Put them outside and then place microphones like 50 so cool. yards away in either direction and you know and it's all yeah, come together in such a beautiful way again gray street being the street where you live so mm -hmm. you're really like hey guys want to come over like borrow a cup of sugar like you're like you're putting it out there right yeah. well yes and no <laughs> don't come and ask for a cup of sugar <laughs> no not to mention he's not going to be there because you guys are touring the u.s and canada heavily i just said i was exhausted yeah. looking at the dates, but that just speaks to, I think, your fans and, and how much you're loved over the last 20 years making incredible uh, songs. I, I hope so. I mean, I, I, like you were saying, I, I don't, I can't look at it because yeah. it's, it's pretty daunting. Just do it. Yeah, you just sort of, you know, wake up and then you have a routine that you follow. And, Get through. Um, yeah, but I mean, I think, you know, having said that, I do adore the shows. I love playing and that, that'll never go away, so. How do you balance between the playlist, like the song list? From old faves to mm -hmm. the new babies that you love, how, um, do you do, how do you decide? Well, it's, I mean, obviously we always want to play the newer stuff, um, but I know that people are, are to pay for a ticket. There's going to be songs that they want to hear. Oh. So, um, we just, it, you know, with this much music to choose from, you, you can put put together a pretty good set. They've been running about two hours, and, and awesome. but it's like you know, just give them. It's a, a happy balance. It takes a bit of work. Um, yeah, we put a couple shows in. Times. Yeah. I can't believe it's 20 years since we've been cranking that song. Mm -hmm. That song. You know that song. 20 years. No. Continued success, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Big Rec Thanks plays the us. Phoenix tonight and tomorrow evening. For tickets, mm -hmm. just go to bigrecmusic.com. Look how young I look there. What's that? <laughs> look how young I look there. You, you guys don't age. Don't put the young I look there as if you're like, you know, 102 now going 103, which you probably will. In rock years, will. I'm well over 100. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. I don't think so. Ask the Stones. Thanks, guys. Over to you, Kev.